When engaging in a dispute or argument, it's important to hold back your strongest argument or race in the whole for later. This will ensure that when all facts and arguments have been presented, you'll have one last powerful point to seal the deal and solidify your position. This technique is rooted in the psychological principle of the rule of three, which states that people are more likely to remember and be persuaded by information that is presented in groups of three. By holding back your strongest argument, you'll be able to present it as the final point, making it more likely to stick in the mind of your opponent and sway their decision. For example, let's say you're in a meeting with your colleagues discussing a new project proposal. Your colleagues are on the fence about the proposal and you have several strong arguments in favor of it. Instead of presenting all your arguments at once, you could hold back your strongest argument until the end when your colleagues have already heard your other points and are more likely to be convinced by your final, most powerful point. Another example, let's say you're in a debate with your partner over a household decision. After discussing the pros and cons of different options, you hold back your strongest argument until the end, when you'll be able to present it as the final point, which will make it more likely to convince your partner. This technique has been supported by scientific research. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Michigan found that people are more likely to remember and be persuaded by information that is presented in groups of three. Additionally, a study published in the Journal of Consumer Research found that people are more likely to be swayed by a final, strong argument, even if it doesn't necessarily align with their previously held beliefs or opinions. It's also important to remember that while winning an argument may feel good in the moment, it's not always the most important thing. It's crucial to understand that in any kind of dispute or argument, effective communication and understanding are key. By listening to your opponent's side and trying to understand their perspective, you'll be able to find common ground and come to a resolution that works for both parties. For example, Let's say you're having a disagreement with your spouse over where to go on vacation. Instead of focusing on winning the argument, you could try to understand your spouse's perspective and what they want out of the vacation. By understanding their perspective, you'll be able to find a compromise that works for both of you. It's also important to remember that using your race in the whole should be done with caution and intelligence. It's not always appropriate to use it in every situation, and it can come across as manipulative or unfair if used too often. For example, let's say you're in a job interview, and your interviewer asks you about a specific skill or experience. Instead of holding back your strongest argument, it's important to be honest and upfront about your qualifications and experiences from the start. In conclusion, while winning an argument may be satisfying, it's important to remember that effective communication and understanding are key in any dispute. By holding back your strongest argument and using it at the right time, you'll be able to make a greater impact and come to a resolution that works for both parties. But remember, it's also important to use it with caution and intelligence and not to manipulate the situation. Remember, play your cards smartly instead of just playing your cards.